So let's actually talk about the risks in these markets. Um, Egypt is difficult because there's a lot of cash on delivery. Saudi Arabia is difficult because there are a lot of returns and cash on delivery. How do you guys manage your risks when it comes to logistics? How do you minimize delivery times and how do you deal with cash on delivery? So, I mean, our goal is to deliver all our products within uh, two to three days. Uh, right now, we're more closer to the three to five days. Uh, this is the key KPI in any service we're allowed in Sue.com. Uh, because we've been a platform connecting multiple merchants and businesses, uh, as well as our own products that we sell on the site, we've had to work throughout the four or five years uh, since 2006 on this issue of how we consolidate COD, how we make the couriers accountable for the, the products we give them in delivery and return. And uh, imagine doing it from a warehouse, but we do it from a network of multiple warehouses as well as multiple merchants. So the level of complexity is quite high. Sometimes I feel we're more like a bank and a credit card and an insurance company and a courier company running all at once because we score the buyers, the sellers, and the whole how that process works. It's kind of an, uh, an interesting point of view when you look at things from a marketplace point of view where you, even when you're selling on the platform, you have to adhere to the same standards as everyone else. There is buyer's remorse. If you're delayed in delivering the product, people will change their mind. If you're more delayed, people will change their mind even more and you have to deal with the whole reverse return cycle. And those are just any e-commerce companies deal with them. I think just the complexity level having been paid later than earlier, changes your cash flow, changes your days to pay, changes your capital that as you grow, you have to figure out exactly how that all works, balance that with your marketing, operations, spend, IT services, but again, you have to innovate. And I think this is where our region, maybe people say, ah, they look at Marka, they look at Souk, they look at Sukar, and they say, you guys are doing similar to what other people are doing. And in, in certain aspects on the grand scheme of the business model, I agree, but when you come down to executing, especially different markets, different population, workforce, expats, uh, habits, uh, then things change. So a lot of th things are common and similar, but there are specifics to this market. COD is one of these uh, uh, complexities that is challenging for any business. Um, it becomes really challenging when you scale, so you need to make sure you're ready for it and you're merging it. Uh, 